Can you think of a more beloved American food on a sunny summer day? They're hot, they're tasty, and they make for that oh-so-perfect bite. It turns out the origins of the hot dog are woven into the fabric of American immigration history. Pretty profound for the snack that goes best with picnics and cold beer. We've made the story of the hot dog, which everybody takes for granted, but it's so much fun. Uh, we've made it into an immigration story because that's really what it is. The stories of five iconic hot dog purveyors are on display at Ellis Island Museum just in time for National Hot Dog Month, each tied by a common thread. The founders immigrated through Ellis Island. And on this opening day, hundreds of free samples are being cooked up for visitors to celebrate. So we have five different companies. We have, um, we have Sabret, we have Hebrew National, we have Nathan's. We have Vienna Beef. Vienna Beef, one of the oldest brands, started in 1893. The gentleman wound up in Chicago selling hot dogs, or whatever they were called then, uh, at the World's Fair, saved enough money to buy a storefront, and there's Vienna Beef was born. Then, of course, there's Walters. The recipe for these dogs came from Italian immigrants. Walters is from Maranek, New York, family, fourth generation family business, and uh, Great hot dogs. It turns out the all-American hot dog is anything but. Nathan's has been around for over a hundred years with Polish roots, and I gotta tell you, it makes for a pretty good breakfast. I like that when you go around, they have like the different flags from the different countries, yeah, so it's really interesting to see. <laughs> Getting a taste of the cultural influence makes for a better history lesson. At Sabret, you can find the name of one of the original owners, Christopher Papalexis from Greece, in the Ellis Island passenger log. The spice is still the same as it was from 90 years ago, just a little alteration. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of European influence. Anything that you can um, relate back to the immigrant experience is exactly what um, young people and old people and middle-aged people need to know today. Here's a shocker. Get ready for it because I didn't see it coming. Turns out mustard is the sole and original condiment meant for the hot dog. There's a book called Never Put Ketchup on a Hot Dog, and I thought that was interesting because I always thought it was just my husband telling me never to put ketchup on a hot dog. And I'm from Iowa, so we put ketchup on hot dogs. <laughs> put ketchup on everything. Right, exactly. <laughs> the Free Franks are for opening day only, but the exhibit stays up through July, and I can't file this report without you using at least one corny pun. So after learning the roots of this oft underplayed food, it's good to see every dog does have its day. On Ellis Island, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.